Smith, this is AKA Africa 95, and welcome to some, you know, weekly news. <laughs> I rarely do it as much because, as of now, the Cup Series are going back to Nashville, so they haven't been in Nashville since the 1980s, I believe, but it's in a different racetrack, the big speedway, Nashville Super Speedway, so. They're not going to be in the fairgrounds for a few years, so <sighs> keep your fingers crossed because they've, it's going to be a fantastic weekend, so let's move on to some news. So, As my favorite driver, Jeff Gordon, went to Indy, he got a chance to do like a 30-year reunion with his former car owner from the USAC Midget series, Ronnie uh, uh, it says Hemley Helmy uh, uh, That's a bad way to say it, but uh, Helmley. <laughs> so basically I'm gonna let you guys read the article since I basically don't haven't done research on it because all I saw on J Ski was he went back to his racing, grassroots racing back in the day, and look at all this. First time in 30 years. Nailed it. So it's a basically a 30-year reunion, and he drove a Clawson Marshall Racing Ninja car, and basically was doing a demo run since he was, him and Tony Stewart went inside the infield of uh, Indianapolis yeah, Indianapolis Motor Speedway as far as the you know dirt racing is concerned yeah and I think Roger Penske would like it because it'll bring more NASCAR drivers into it too since that's where they basically came from and and then some of his accomplishments are right here Yep. Not much to say there because as a Jeff Gordon fan in the 90s, man, it gave him those memories when he realized, hey, I want to do double duty. Run USAC Midgets and then run the, I'll say Xfinity Series. You know, it used to be the Bush Series, but yeah. So... If you like the Jeff Corn news, go right ahead and share a comment about that one. So let's move on. And more news. Chase Elliott gets a nom nom eh, nominated for Best Driver SP. So as it says, Lewis Hamilton for F1, Scott Dixon for IndyCar, and then Eric Enders from NHRA, so yep. Yeah. And then there's a road course ace that I never heard of, Ryan Eversley, making debut at Royal America. Austin Dillon, gonna run the Xfinity race for Watkins Glen and Indy road course, so he can get more experience as a as a summer he gets closer, you know. <laughs> So, so my plan as far as doing these news headlines, I only focus on the Hendrick drivers or former Hendrick drivers like Jeff Gordon, like I've told you guys earlier. So let's look at Alex Bowman. So Alex Bowman, he yesterday when I phone from my iPhone. <laughs> This was announced Friday morning that he's gonna get a contract extension with Hendrick Motorsports for 2023. So, if you guys haven't like checked his Twitter account, you'll see one of his uh, the main boss, the CEO of Ally Bank. He went to the Hendrick shop and brought all his employees, the Hendrick race team race employees he to celebrate his accomplishments so 
I think this woman will be there for a long time, I'm telling you. Because he has Larson, Chase Elliott, and that really Byron giving him a good notebook into the future because, you know, as a lifetime Hendrick Motorsports fan, yeah, it's a good thing, man. You want him to be there for a long time instead of just shuffling them out, you know. So like I said, if you want to click on this Twitter video, go right ahead. Not much to say here because this woman has a bright future, that's all. But sometimes you see the 4 out of 4 as far as being the last Hendrick driver using the running order. But he'll get there and be the number 1 or 2 driver if he works at it. So. Uh, there's Eric Eastup's uh, YouTube video that he uploaded. So if you guys want to look at his, go right ahead. Watkins Clan open grandstands, doesn't mean anything in there. This was the biggest news because, as far as Spire Motorsports loaning a charter to Colling Racing, I mean, he just basically sold his charters and gave it to them. And as far as Matt Colling, he selected Justin Haley to ride his number 16 Colling Chevy race car full time in the Cup Series. So, congratulations to Justin Haley and Matt Colling on their new venture into the, the series. So, yeah. And there's the picture right there. Yep. Not much. <laughs> I'm just looking at the more important stuff. And then the second one that was in everybody's mind, as far as Chase, sorry, as far as Chase Elliott fans are, the good news is you'll have Eddie DeHaan be reinstated in NASCAR. Which means that the NASCAR officials will allow him to get into the National Super Speedway property to actually spot for Chase Elliott. So, good news for everybody in the NASCAR world, since that's the golden boy of NASCAR. So, you, you guys can read that. I'm not a lawyer, so I'm not going to read into why there wasn't any evidence showing why he should be guilty of that crime so and then if you're a Kyle Busch fan bad news KBM will not be moving to the cup series and that truck series in Xfinity program well they, he doesn't have an Xfinity program but if you're a Kyle Busch motorsports driver you'll more likely go to Joe Gibbs Racing in the future, but they're not going to be uh, kicked out of their rides for a while, which I'm referring to the cup drivers, you know. So, yeah. And then E-NASCAR, International iRacing Series. I like that one. I like that part because, you know, there's Europe, Mexico, and Canada that will participate in the E-NASCAR International iRacing Series. So basically, that's a good thing, you know? So how did you all summer? Did you all realize these news headlines will make the most sense? Especially Brad Keselowski's uh, done deal with going to Ralph's Fenway Keselowski racing, I believe. So, yeah. So, basically, these are some intriguing news headlines that'll shape what it'll be like in February come Daytona Speedweek. So, I'm going to have car Live 5. If you want to look at some more NASCAR news throughout the week, Go to JSKI's NASCAR Silly Season site by typing in JSKI.com on the browser of your choice. So, I'm AKA Apicardo95. 
Y'all have a great day. Peace out.